We have a, a full day. Thank you all so much for being here. I'm Professor Kaplow at Brooklyn Law School, and many familiar faces in the audience. Um, and before beginning, I'd just like to introduce uh, Dean Nick Allard, who'd like to welcome you. Thank you. Well, good morning. Uh, happy Halloween. Yesterday, we got the New York State Bar exam results, so I guess that was the trick. But today, you're in for a real treat. And I'm looking at the program for this. We're now in more than three decades of Professor Bob Pittler's annual program in criminal law, procedure, evidence, and ethics. And you're in for a marvelous time. Uh, uh, Dean Kaplow and Judge Barry Kamins have organized a really fabulous program. I mean, the faculty, as you know, is going to include um, Judge uh, Justice Dwyer, uh, Miriam Hibble, and our own uh, Judge Leventhal. Uh, so you've got a real full day, and then at the end, on uh, new disciplinary rules, you'll be having Michael Ross, Hal Lieberman, and Robert Guido. Uh, so we're very grateful for all <coughs> of our presenters. I should mention um, that you'll be, if, you, if this is an hors d'oeuvre or appetizer for you, coming up, we've got two other fabulous programs on November 10th from 5 to 7, Blood in the Water, the Attica Prison Uprising of 1971 and its legacy. There are flyers outside, but that's November 10th. Um, and the moderator will be our own Professor Jocelyn Simonson and um, the program with Professor Heather Ann Thompson is going to discuss her newly released book, so I really would commend that to you. Also, <coughs> Judge Leventhal's new book, uh, he will be having a book event here, My Partner, My Enemy, on November 14th, Monday, November 14th, from 6 to 8 at the law school. And I'm sure uh, you will want to participate in that program if you can. Uh, glad to see so many of you here. You'll be put through your hoops. I think you're trapped in this room, basically, for most of the day. I hope the weather outside is awful. Uh, so that your, your attention will not be uh, diverted, and um, we're very happy to see you. How many people here are Brooklyn Law School graduates? All right, well, it's great to see you all back here, and I know uh, that, that uh, so many of you not only are Brooklyn Law School graduates, but so many of you, whether you were or not, knew Professor Robert Pittler, who we lost not too long ago. And many of you may well have either worked with him or been in his class, and certainly there are many of you who are returning to this program, which has uh, been on an annual basis. I'm glad to see that it's revived and extended and expanded. This is now under the umbrella of our uh, new Center for Criminal Justice. And that center, I think, embodies in a very special way that one of the great strengths of this law school, and our law school is in the forefront. I mean, I like to say we're one of a kind and the best of our kind. We are in the forefront of learning how to use the power of law uh, for the benefit of people and society in our community, in the nation, and around the world. And certainly in the field of criminal justice, we uh, have strengths, including all of you who work in the profession in this field, um, as a base to put us in a position where we are second to none. And with our outstanding faculty, Professor Ka Kaplow, uh, Simonson, Capers, uh, and so many others, I know I'm missing some and those that work in the clinical area, and then those who are outside in the profession that support our students, give them jobs, give them mentoring on the job training, and teach them how to advance the rule of law in the criminal justice field. Uh, we are extremely fortunate and a leader. So thank you for taking your profession and your job so seriously. I hope you have a marvelous experience here. Uh, and um, please stay in touch. Come see me anytime you want. My door is always open. Uh, I've learned that if I keep it shut, it just encourages people to come on in. Uh, so there's no point. But I'm happy to see you, and we'd love to have all of you here on a Saturday morning. Thank you, Professor Kaplow. Uh, thanks, Dean Allard, and uh, let me just add my welcome to all of you. Um, I just wanted to say a little bit more about my, uh, my co beloved colleague, Bob Pittler, who so many of you did know, and we, it just gave us such a pleasure to be able to revive this program, um, and it was such something to which he was so dedicated and committed. 
Uh, every year when I didn't come to the program, he would come to my office on Monday and say, well, here, I'll give you some of the materials anyway. So I happened to have a stack uh, uh, upstairs, and um, I noted that the first was in 1986, so we d really are at the 30-year mark. Um, in addition to uh, his commitment to this program, Professor Pittler also loved giving away money, and one of the, benef uh, benef or the beneficiaries of this program are alums of Brooklyn Law School who've worked in the public sector in criminal justice for five years or more, and we annually award stipends to help defray the cost of their legal education. And I know that um, there may be some people in this room who were the recipients, but we like we uh, are really glad to be able to continue that program in his honor as well. I just like to, it's really great to see the packed room. Um, we were worried that people might have forgotten about this program, so we're, we're so delighted to have had the help um, and organizing skills of Judge Caymans and all of the panelists um, who are going to be here today, and to the four criminal justice fellows who helped put the materials together and who are going to ride herd over you uh, to make sure you get back in the room on time so we can keep this uh, going smoothly. Uh, I'm happy that, uh, that Dean Allard mentioned the two upcoming events. I hope you'll take some of uh, the flyers that are outside and put them in your calendar. The Criminal Justice Center is really, this is really its inaugural event. It's the first formal um, event that we've uh, offered, but we're off and running, and we hope uh, to see you at other events. If you RSVB to this program, you'll be on our mailing list, so you'll be able to know what, uh, what's coming up. Uh, you can also, at the end of today, we're, going to, we're recording the proceedings, and two points about that. Number one, if you have a question and you want to ask it from the floor during the Q&A, bear in mind that it'll be recorded. And secondly, uh, the recording will be posted on the, criminal justice, uh, the Center for Criminal Justice webpage on brooklaw.edu in a couple of days. So if any of you want to, if you miss something uh, during the presentation, you can find it there. Uh, just a few words. First of all, I'm sure it goes without saying, turn off all devices. Uh, secondly, we posted the Wi-Fi uh, uh, login. It's, uh, it, when you see the choices, it'll be BLS guest. So if you need to get on Wi-Fi, feel free to do that. Um, our program is really tight, so please observe the timetable. We're going to have a short mid-morning break with just some refreshments outside. Again, similarly in the afternoon, uh, another break. Lunch will be in the dining room on the fourth floor which you can get to by elevator, but also it's only three flights down, so you might get to your box lunch faster if you walk. Um, there are, I, I assume everybody who's here for CLE credit did receive the, um, the information about your, your participation, that you have to basically be present throughout the program and you can't leave, and our, your certificate for the CLE completion will be available where you signed in in the student lounge at the end of the program. Um, if you uh, don't, uh, stick it out to the bitter end, you're not going to get your CLE certificate. If you have any other qu questions about CLE, Matilda Garrido is our CLE administrator. She's, she was downstairs, and she'll be around all day uh, if you need any assistance with that. Um, you obviously can go outside for lunch if you prefer, but please come back in because um, we'll be closing the doors and resuming the program promptly. So I'm going to turn the floor over to... Uh, Judge Kamins, who's going to uh, begin the presentation.